Hello friends, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral and today I'm going to show you guys how I make my very simple freezer oatmeal. This is great for anybody who has to be on the go in a hurry in the mornings. Your children are going back to school. I absolutely love this. It's super easy and I have been making this a long time. You are looking into a giant pot and in there is eight cups of water and to that I want to add in a teaspoon of salt and I just want to bring this water up to a boil and while this is getting ready to come up to a boil I'm going to get my steel cut oats ready and I want to have two cups ready to add to this water. My water has started boiling and to that I want to add my two cups of steel cut oats that I've already had measured out. I want to give this a stir now with steel cut oats it does take longer to cook but you're getting a lot more benefit from the steel cut oats as opposed to regular oatmeal. I'm going to turn this down on a simmer and I'm going to allow this to simmer for about 20 minutes. I am using a jumbo muffin pan or better known as a Texas muffin pan and I have a little coconut oil on a clean paper towel and I just want to grease this muffin pan with the coconut oil so that when I freeze my little individual servings of oatmeal it does not stick. Once you are done greasing your pan you want to think about toppings for your oatmeal. So I have some chopped strawberries, I have some fresh blueberries, I have some walnuts, you could do some fresh coconut, you can do anything you want, almonds, you could do peanut butter, and we are actually going to go ahead and top all of our individual bowls of oatmeal with our toppings and then we're going to freeze it all together and that way we don't even have to worry about this part of it in the morning at all. My steel cut oats are completely cooked and you want to leave a little bit of water because a lot of that water is going to evaporate as you freeze it. I'm going to use an ice cream scooper and I want to scoop out my oats and I do two of the ice cream scoops in each and that makes a perfect nice size bowl for us. Now that my muffin pan is full I want to go ahead and add my toppings so you can add blueberries to the top of this you can add some strawberries You can also add in some walnuts because we like walnuts on our oatmeal. And I kind of press the berries down just a little bit so that it will freeze with the oatmeal. I have all of my toppings on here. Then I'm just going to pop this tray right into my freezer and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how. Okay, my oatmeal is completely frozen. I've got a freezer bag here and all I have done is fill up a little glass pan, a deep glass pan, with some really hot water and if you're hearing noises it's my washing machine, forgive me, but life goes on around here. <laughs> Um, so I have my pan and I stick it down inside of the warm water and it loosens it up so that I can take my knife and pop these individual servings out of here. You see this? That is a bowl of oatmeal and I am just going to pop that down into my Ziploc Second bag. One. one of my little blueberries is falling off but that's okay. Look at that. Look how awesome this is. That so is. simple. I highly suggest you make some of these uh, for your family. It makes breakfast time so much easier. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that like button. And I will be talking to you all again soon. Look how easy that pops out. Right there. Oatmeal. Breakfast. Bam. Alright guys, I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye guys.